in the first day, I made $400 doing deliveries. And now today is the second day and I'm at $1,100 right now. Then I got a, um, another smaller pallet that's paying $300 that I picked up. $1,500 in two days. Hey y'all, Sean in town here. Welcome to another video. Uh, let me tell you, today I have a special guest and I'm telling you, this is gonna be good for everybody that's looking to get into the, uh, the, uh, the medical quarry business or even the general side of the courier business, which is just straight out courier, right? So uh, we're going to be dropping some information in this in this episode, and let me tell you, it's going to be good. I've been rocking with uh, this person, this guest, and let me tell you, he 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 knows what he's doing. He knows it. He knows his stuff. He knows the business, and he's going to be dropping some hella information for y'all out here. All right. Uh, we got Tony with us from Stick With Us Delivery. That's his business. He's getting it. He's doing his thing. And let me tell you, he's bringing a whole lot of people along with him uh, to the promised land. I'm, I'm, I mean a lot of people. I've been seeing the testimonials coming in. And I said, you know what? We, we got to get up and, 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 and just get on my uh, channel and, you know, just put them out there and, and get you all in the money. All right. So, hey, Tony, we got Tony with us. Hey, Tony, what's going on with you these days, man? Hey, oh, outside of making money. money. <laughs> what's up sean in town man what's going on man everything's good man so um we're gonna dive deep into uh this 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 core driving business today man because people got a lot of questions and you know uh we've been talking and talking and talking and we decided hey you know why not do this episode and just put that inform that information out there for people especially in the season that we're in right now where everybody is trying to start their own business and just get it popping, man. So share with me a little bit of background on who Tony is and um, where, where, where you're at right now, where you're located, you know, the whole nine. All right. How y'all doing? My name is Tony. I have a business called Stick With Us Delivery Service. Um, I actually started it a little over a year ago, but I got into the business about three years ago, um, driving box trucks. Um, I'm out of West Palm Beach, Florida, you know, sunny South Florida. You know, y'all know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah um but that's where i'm from man and, um i started about like three years ago driving box trucks um i was loving it you know it was something new for me um uh, got familiar with the business i wanted to learn the bike end of it so i'm the type of person i like to ask a lot of questions and try to find out things and i was asking questions with the supervisors and a lot of the guys and you know up, up in there in the business and um they was giving me numbers they was telling me how much they actually was making to move that truck every day and uh, some just clicked. I was like, yo, I got to figure out a way to do this on my own because if they're bringing in them kind of numbers, those kind of numbers I want to bring in as well. So so um, at, at this present time, what type of what type of vehicle are you driving right now? The, um, I, have, I have a cargo van, Ford Transit, 150, medium roof. Uh, you know what? I've, I'm, I've been seeing those Ford Transits and I've been thinking, you know, it's a Ford. Uh, it, does it does it hold up well? Yes, very well. I haven't had um, no issues out of my phone. Only thing I had to do was um, just keep oil changes. Um, I had to get brakes one time and a battery one time. But other than that, it's like it's like a sewing machine. You don't have no issues out of it. I love it. All right, let's talk about the everyday gears that you use in this business, right? What are some of the gears uh, people will need to have, especially coming into this business brand new, have no idea about it, or even people that just got started you know, and needed more information on things that they need to have, you know, some, you know, just basic uh, everyday essential or requirements, you know, that will, that they will need to run uh, their business successfully. What are some of the things, uh, the gears uh, that they would need? Well, I always tell people, um, if you're serious about it and you're going to start a business, you got to start it from ground up. It's like building a house. So you got to, you got to lay the cement first. You got to create the foundation. Best way to create that foundation is come up with a name that you can relate to, you know, then go and get your LLC, get your EIN number, um, open up a business bank account, get your Duns and Bradstreet number. I always tell everyone this. The reason I tell them this is because I just don't want you to just get out there, start driving for a company, but, you know, you're not doing enough for your business. You're only helping that, that company out. You're not helping yourself. So I always lay that foundation out first before I even get started with anyone I mentor or do consultations with anything. So what about things like Dolly and, you know, uh, your hand truck and all that stuff? Yes. Uh, or straps, you know, yeah. you know. What yes, you of course. 
Yes, you, you most definitely need, uh, if you're in the cargo van business, you're going to need uh, most definitely a dolly. I always tell people to get either a three-in-one or a two-in-one dolly, uh, which meaning that it can be a dolly, but it can also turn into a cart where you can place boxes on top of it. And it'll make it a lot easier for you to roll all the boxes up into the business. Um, of course, you want to get tie-down straps. Um, that's a must. You don't want none to get damaged. You might have paint buckets. You don't want them to fall over. You don't want to have a spill or anything like that because, you know, that can be very pricey. That can cost the business a lot of money and it can cost you a lot of money. And we don't need no grand opening, no grand closings going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? And even with the medical, you know, quarry side of things, um, you know, uh, would would you need like like a like a bag, like a cooling bag or, you know, you, do you need to carry on dry ice or, you know, stuff like that? Yes. Yeah, so if you're doing medical care, um, yes, in some in some instances, you're going to need like dry ice, um, things like that. But uh, for the most part, the medical care is pretty easy, though, um, you know, because you're just delivering like medical supplies, labs. Man, you might be some cases you might be delivering organs. You might have to like go meet up at a helicopter pad or either the airport to pick up an organ that might need to get rushed to a hospital immediately for emergency surgery. So, Tony, do you run routes in and out of states? Hey, good question. So when I first started, um, I ended up getting with a dispatching company. And long story short, I had took a course on learning how to do dispatching. So when I got with this dispatcher, he was like, hey, do you know how to dispatch? I was like, yeah. He said, I'm going to give you my login to my load board on select his load board, and I let you book your own loads. So when I first got started, it was like a blessing. So I was booking my own loads, and I was going over the road. And I was giving them their percentage. I was taking my percentage. And I, it was good. It was nice. Every now and then, you know, sometimes you have to dead head. And that was getting on, that was like bothering me a little bit. You know, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. And um, so I was like, let me go back home. Let me do some more research. Let me figure out how I can do this in state. And I started doing my research. I started finding companies. I started finding companies where you can get routes throughout the day. Um, on top of that, when I really, when I got genius with it is when, I figured out you can have more than one contract and you can start stacking your contracts. Mm -hmm. And even if you're stacking your contracts, you can even be um, getting with these companies. Now, every company now is taking the platform of Lyft, Uber, DoorDash, all these um, carrier companies, they're using that same kind of platform. It's an on-demand delivery. So when a big company needs a delivery, they send it out to a networking system and all these companies that have apps now they'll get the um the load and so it's up to you to accept the load long story short one day i went to one and i was doing a delivery and um the guy said um we've been using your company for a long time the company that i was using which is um dispatch you know i'm gonna drop the jewel on y'all you know dispatch i'm gonna drop the jewel on you so the guy told me that and then next thing you know um he was like we use all these other companies now and i was like what's the name of the companies so the guy didn't want to tell me. And I'm like, dang, why he don't want to tell me the company? So you know me, man. I got personality. I'm real. You know, I'm, I'm easy breeze. I'm a friendly guy. People get along with me. So when the guy was um, loading my truck up, I asked the other guy, I said, yo, man, tell me what them companies is. Man, what them other companies? And the man told me all the companies. Wow. And when he told me all the companies, it was game over. I signed up with all them companies that same day when I got off from that load. And my life changed after that. I'm not even going to lie. My life changed after that. And that's why I'm teaching everybody this game, because I, I got some inside information that I think I wasn't supposed to get, but I got it. Um, since we're talking about routes and stuff, um, uh, committed routes, that's very important in, in yes. this business, uh, because that's that's more long term, you know, uh, revenue right there. Right. So um, as far as committed routes, how do you leverage those those type of routes? How do you get committed routes? I'm about, all right. Y'all, y'all asking for it is on the right, you know, Sean in town. So I got it. I got to give it to Sean in town. You feel me? So this is how you get committed routes. This is the best place. When I say I use it all the time, it's cbdriver.com. That is the best way to get a route. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Even last week, I, um, I put, I submitted something to a company on CB driver. They hit me up the next day and said, Hey, can you come in? Just like that. And then two days later, I seen another company. I did the same thing. I sent them my profile. They called me back in 15 minutes, asking me if I can be there in the morning at 10 a.m. to do an interview. 
I went there in the morning, got a new contract. It was just that easy. That's why I stress this to people. And I try to make everything very user-friendly and make it easy for you all so you can relate. Um, but it's just, I mean, CB Driver, man, can't get no better than cbdriver.com. So these companies with these routes, a lot of times they're only doing box trucks and cargo vans. But even if they only doing that, reach out to the company if you just have a car or SUV. Because what I'm starting to find out is that those same companies will accept you if you have a car or SUV. Because every time I go to pick up in the morning, I see people coming in with cars and SUVs and they loading their truck up with a whole lot of little small packages that can fit in their car. 50 to 60 little packages. So never limit yourself. Um, always push yourself and always think outside the box. Drop some companies for our viewers uh, to tap into. Well, I'm gonna give y'all the top three, the ones I use every day. You know, and I use these, these are not like, you don't, these are not to like, look at like, this going to be my full-time job, like with an app, you know what I'm saying? Cause like he's saying, Sean keep telling y'all, you know, you want to have a guaranteed route. That's like guaranteed money. Mm -hmm. Then you use these as a side hustle. But my top three, I'm going to say dispatchit.com is one of my favorite apps. And the reason I really love it is because they're contracted with so many other the companies actually more companies than the rest of these apps are contracted with they even have contracts to where you can have a you can get a route inside of the app they'll send you it's called a um, multi-deliver um load so you might have 15 20 stops but they are they don't calculate how much money you should get paid for each stop it could be an uh, auto mechanic run it can be it, it could be some anything you know i done did somewhere i'm delivering flat screen tvs to mansions out on south beach so it can be so many different ways, but that's a really, really good company. Um, another good company is um, Freight. Freight is like the highest paying company that I've ever seen when it comes to an app. I just, I've had some of my routes where I was getting $10 a mile. It was mind blowing. $10 a mile. Like that's, that's unheard of. Wow. You know, yeah. Like, and I'm, I'm going to give y'all the story. The other day, this was for a car. So just having a car. They had a delivery paying $116 and it was going like 63 miles away. I get there to pick it up. It was a vanilla envelope. I say, this can't be right. I say something ain't right about this. Something I say something ain't right about this. I'm like, are y'all sure? And the guy said, he said, yes. He said, we sent the delivery. It was one pallet, but we didn't put the paperwork with it. Wow. So we decided to go back on the platform and send this load out and see who would get it in. I got the load, $116. I delivered an envelope wow. for $116. Still can't believe it. But that kind of thing happened, man. And my final company I'm going to give y'all is GoShare. Um, GoShare is a really good company, too. They deal with Sharon Williams. Um, they deal with One Rail Tires. They deal with a um, couple of different companies. But GoShare pay really good. Um, I'll tell you a little quick experience I had with GoShare. I got a, route, a load for about $400 with GoShare. And I had to deliver a um, portable AC unit. And when I delivered a portable AC unit, it said it had to be installed. So I accepted it. I went ahead, picked it up. And, um, I dropped it off. And it was like, you don't have to install it. Just leave it right there. So I got a, I got an ins installation fee that I got paid and the delivery fee I got paid. So it was almost like $500 total. It was like $488. I was just like, you can't make this up, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep telling people, like, I'm doing, I'm out here in the field. I'm just like you are in the field. I'm doing this every day. So if I'm telling y'all what's going on, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who else y'all want to hear from. Either me or Sean in town. You know, we telling y'all what's going on. Wow. You, you can't ask for anything, you know, more than that, y'all. I mean, that is so much information. It's valuable information. And it's not beating around the bush either. We're, we're getting straight to it. So right. uh, this one, we're not even going to beat around the bush either, Tony. So uh, this one is going to be about overhead. Right. Uh, you know, people, there are people out there that are worried, you know, they're talking about, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, make this, you know, how much you pay for gas. And I'm always saying this, man, like, stop worrying about gas. Like, yo, <laughs> like, you know, I had a I had a video with with this guy talking about trucking and he actually <laughs> did make the numbers twenty eight thousand dollars like in a month. Right. And it, it's it's crazy how people think, man, it's like. You know, even though we put the numbers out there and um, I put the, uh, the the receipts out there, he actually made it. 
you know, a few people came on and saw how, how much he spent on gas and this and that. Yeah. I'm like, yo, this man just got, this man just got 28 grand in one month. Like, okay, so here's the thing, right? My thing, and this, and this is how I always reply to that question. Would you rather spend gas driving 45 to a hour, right? To work, mm-hmm. to a nine to five job, one way, <clears> right? <throat> 45 minutes to an hour, going back home, paying for gas five or six days a week, you know, uh, wear and tear on your vehicle, right? Yeah. Plus, mm-hmm. let me ask you this. Who's going to pay for gas? The manager or the, 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 the big, the, 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 the millionaire or multimillionaire or billionaire owner is going to come, come hot at you and pay, and pay for your gas? Matter of fact, you ain't even going to get a raise. Y'all, for, for people out there who's always trolling and talking about, yo, so who pay for gas? There are certain ways you can negotiate y- your contract terms if you're doing committed routes and so forth. You can negotiate that, and that's something we're going to be teaching you uh, if we do a webinar, right? Right, Tony? So, hey, hey right. look out for that webinar link down below, all right? If we do, drop it, right? <laughs> so, um, uh, give us a breakdown, man. Uh, give us a breakdown uh, on, on your company's uh, overhead and, you know, what's, you know how the numbers roll, roll are rolling right now. My bad. Mm-hmm. I, I get that question a lot also, and I'm going to just tell you something real fast. Just like I just told you the story where I made $488, where it only cost me $60 worth of gas to make the 488 So I profit $428. So that was beautiful. So as, when they mm-hmm. ask how much your gas is, I, my, my, my cargo van only cost me $80 to fill it up and I get 450 miles on $80. So I'm never really worried about gas, to be honest with y'all. And I work local. I work in my state. I gas up two to three times a week. So I'm averaging maybe $240 for gas for the week. That's what I pay for gas. Um, I also have an extended warranty on my cargo van, which I pay $148 um, every month um, on top of that. So you're looking at a thousand a month on gas. That's with a cargo van, not a car. That's with a cargo van. Uh, an extra one fifty um, for the extended warranty. My car note is five forty. Um, so that puts you at like seven. I'm at like seventeen hundred right now. And then my insurance is a trick to my insurance. I only pay um, a total of two thirty a month on my insurance. So I'm roughly spending what? like two thousand. Yes, I'm. I'm I, I dropped the jewel off of y'all. So I'm only spending like two thousand a month with my business um, every month, and I make that in one week. So what I make in a week for my business, the other three weeks are all my profit. That's how I structure my business, and that's how I teach people. Those are good numbers, man. Those are yeah. pretty good numbers. Yes, it, you, you, because I I could imagine the profit margin. My gosh, you're doing you're doing pretty good, especially with the insurance. See, a lot of people, you know, wait, wait, and and let's talk about insurance. As a matter of fact, did we cover that? Not yet. We haven't. Not yet. How, how does that, you know, how does that work? Not, you know, how you got that. We'll probably save that for the okay. webinar, right? <laughs> but what, who, who, who do you use for insurance? Um, right now I'm using Progressive. Um, I started off using InfinityAuto.com. I was using them when I had a million dollar policy. Um, but then I ended up going to Progressive because I didn't need a million dollars anymore. And um, yeah, they show me love, you know, but I got a clean driving record also. So I drive. People say I drive like an old man, so <laughs> I ain't driving record. So that actually helps a lot. Okay. All right. So, um, and <clears throat> y'all, a million dollars doesn't mean you're going to spend a million dollars. All right. No, no, That's no, just no, 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 no. I, I was paying like nine thirty one every month for the million dollar policy, which is not That's, bad. That is very good. That's very yes. good. Yes. All right. So uh, can you explain the difference between, because, um, <clears throat> When we say courier, a lot of people will think medical courier, but, but there's a general side of the courier business. Mm-hmm. Um, can you explain the difference between medical courier and, you know, uh, general courier? Yes. Okay. So like a general courier, uh, you know, a general courier, we can deliver pretty much anything. Uh, just depend on certain stuff. You may need little certificates like hazmat certificates or uh, Twitch card in case you're going to like the airports and dealing with TSA. Um, so it's just little different little things. When it comes to medical carrier, you're going to have to sign off um, on the HIPAA law because um, that, that's to protect um, whoever you're delivering, you know, their, you know, their stuff with, you know, that's, that has to be protected by the HIPAA law. So you got to sign off on certain stuff and agree with certain terms before you can get on with the medical carrier company. But 
One thing I can tell you about the medical care company, we all know that pays really well. Anything dealing with that word medical in front of it, I'm going to just call that a check. That's what I'm going to call that. That's a nice check if you say medical in front of it. So, but yeah, that's pretty much the, um, the difference. Um, it's just more responsibility when you're dealing with people's labs and you're dealing with maybe organs and you're dealing with um, all kind of equipment and supplies and you're dealing with doctors and nurses and, you know, these big hospitals and stuff like that. So, you know, just more responsibility, but it's worth it at the end of the day. So, Tony, you know, we were on the phone a few days ago and, man, you shared the story with me about a student, actually, that gave you a call and was sharing a testimonial with you. And I was like, yo, we got to share that with the viewers, yo, like this, it was so good, y'all. So can you share uh, that event with us? Yeah, man. Um, I was, you know, woke up one morning to go do my, do my route. And it's so funny. It was the route with the envelope. And uh, next thing you know, I get a text message saying, um, Tony, I just want to say thank you. And I'm like, okay, so I just did. You're welcome. That's what I responded back saying. And then I get a phone call. It's a guy living in Boston. He, um, he called me. He said, no, man, I want to thank you, man. He said, because um, I, I did everything you told me to do. He said, now, it did take me a while to get with some of these companies. And I always tell people, if you don't hear back from the company, call them. You know, reach out to them. Show them that you're interested and that that's something you, you really want to do, you know. And the guy told me, he said, man, you know, I got into this business and it's been hard for me to get loads. I can't get loads. And I want to, he has, he's a family man. You know, he's just like everybody else. Just want to take care of home. You know, and he was getting frustrated because, you know, he got a wife and a child and all of that. And I said, man, look, here, I'm a, we're going to get straight to the point. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. He did it. Um, and maybe we did like that consultation, maybe like three weeks. And then he called me that day and he said, thank you, Tony. And I was like, thank me for what? He said, man, I did exactly what you told me to do. He said the first day I made four hundred dollars doing deliveries. He say, and now today is the second day and I'm at $1,100 right now. He said, I got one route for $800 going from Boston to New York. He said, and I got a, um, another smaller pallet that's paying $300 that I picked up. So he's like, I'm at $1,500 in two days. He only been, he just started. He was on his second day in that $1,500. I mean, like the man was just overflow with emotion and just, I was, I was just as happy as he was. It was like, I was doing the load with him. We, you know, wow. I was just very happy, but you know, that, that's what I do this for, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like I genuinely love to um, see people winning. Like I genuinely love to see people winning, man. And that's what I do it for, man. I don't do it for nothing else. I just want to, I felt like I learned something and I'm hands on with what I know. And if I can share that and help other people and change people's lives, I'm going to continue to do it. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. This is a spirit that I got from him. And that's why that's the reason why we connected on the level we connected. So what type of advice would you give um, to someone who's just getting started in the business? Or let's just say even they just got started. They're, they're, they're newbies in the business or uh, they're trying to get started. What type of advice you would give those type of people, Tony? Best advice I give you is you're going to have your moments where you get frustrated. You know, we all go through that. We're only human. But the key to this business is that mindset. Make sure you have the right mindset and get into this business and also have a plan. So a lot of times, you know, the number one thing is people get frustrated. I can't find lows. I can't find this. I can't find that. But if you just apply yourself and take your time, don't be in such a rush to make so much so fast. It don't work like that. I always tell people wrong was not built in one day. And you got to like think about that. Said what I just said. Wrong was not built in one day. So mm. that's how you got to treat this business. It's like your baby. You just had a baby. You know, the baby not even crawling yet. You know, you got to give a chance. You got to nurture. You got to nurture the baby. You know what I mean? That's how I look at everything. So just take your time. Don't rush. Do your research. I told you all already, cbdriver.com. I'm dropping the jewels. I'm trying to make it easy for y'all so y'all not frustrated. Just it just little stuff like that. I always tell everybody, too, when we give out, Sean, we get out all, all, all this information. I always tell people, create your own formula. Create your own system that'll work for you because you may create something that's way better than what I have, you know, and then we probably can share that information with each other. And, you know, I'm going to share the, I'm going to tell it to the world. So just try not to get too frustrated. Um, block out all the noise. I always tell people that block out all the noise, put one foot in front of the other one, you know, because um, faith without work is dead, you know, and that's all I can tell you. How can I, how can our, our, our viewers connect with you? Um, 
I mean, the easiest way to connect with me, you can just go to my website. It's stickwithusdelivery.com. Um, and all my platforms, my Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube channel, my Facebook, everything is stickwithusdelivery.com. We're a brand. I'm serious about this thing. You see it on my shirt. So I'm so, so serious about this. You know, this I represent this brand, man, you know, and I have to make it look good and, you know, just do my do what I do and keep everybody happy and keep keep everybody informed. You know, I'm just trying to stay relatable and just let everybody I'm no different from you all, man. I, I was working a job. I used to get off my job and get in my car and get on the app and, and do little extra side jobs with the app, you know, just to try to maximize my 24 hours or my eight hour, 10 hour days. You know, I just always try to maximize it. But yeah, man, you want to get in contact with me and stick with us delivery. We got you. You feel me? <laughs> and, and, and that's that's that stick with us on YouTube. Stick with us on Instagram. Stick with us on the website. Stick with us on TikTok. That's right. Stick with us delivery. Yeah, TikTok is my TikTok is insane right now. It's insane. <laughs> Y'all, this man going wild on TikTok, man. Hey, you've been in the news too. You you've been in. Right. Can, before we go, can you can you share that share that that with us? Okay. Yeah, I can. Um. So, quick story. Um. It was a Friday. I had posted a video. I said I want to show people the day in the life for how I do in the cargo van business. Before I went to sleep, I noticed I was at like ten thousand views. So I was like, "That's pretty. That's pretty good." I woke up to a hundred thousand views. By the end of the day, it was at a quarter million views. By the end of the week, it was at a half a million views. And then the next thing you know, a journalist out of Los Angeles did a whole story on me with the Sun News, and it just went global, like Ukraine, British, everybody got it. The next thing I know, they put me in a Google feed. When you type, go to Google, I'm right there. Then just recently, the New York Times Post picked up my story, and it's been a whirlwind. I'm still like, I'm still trying to like catch up with everything. I pinch myself sometimes because it don't seem real, but you know, yeah, hey, I'm 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 just blessed. This is what happens when you help people. So that's why I'm gonna continue to help people. And but yeah, it's been it's been insane. Like it's been insane. And you know what, y'all? You know, I think one of his last one of his last webinar, he had like uh, either a, over a thousand people on that webinar. And yeah, a thousand look, seats. Man, and all those seats were gone. So all right, so here's what 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 happened. Let, let's do this then. Since we're we're here, uh, if you're watching this video. <laughs> Um, outside of 2022, maybe uh, this will be passed. But hey, we may bring it back a few times, but we're not sure about that because we're both busy people. So what we're going to do is, I, I, I think we should do a webinar. What you think? What you think, Tony? Man, let's do it, man. Anytime we can get information to the people, I'm always with that. All right. So, and y'all, don't be complaining about no price and this and that and this. and Look, y'all are going to get some information in that webinar. I mean, we're going to break it down. And plus, uh, we're going to discuss how you can have the opportunity uh, to pretty much get one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want uh, moving forward after that. But I think we're going to drop a webinar, y'all. Look, this is what I want you to do. I'll, you know, keep your eyes down, on the down in the description below, right? The description area. Look, if, you have a, a, if you're on a cell phone, right? Let me shut this laptop down. If you're on a, a, a cell phone, uh, at the bottom right of this video, you'll see a little arrow down, a little arrow down icon. Click that, right? Because I think a lot of people are confused where the description area is. You could click that little arrow down icon and that little box will open up with the description of the video. And plus, there will be a link to the webinar there. Also, if you're, if you're on a laptop, right, um, click that little, you know, black, you know, icon that says show more. It's going to be to the bottom left of the video it says show more click that open that up i'm also going to drop the link the webinar link at the top of the comment section all right so i'm going to pin it there at the top so y'all can't miss it uh we've we, we've been back and forth on whether we should do a webinar but man this video right here like this 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 right here is it we we we, we just got to do it because people are going to ask for it all right so hey y'all thank you for tuning in uh, stick with us delivery look big things coming y'all hey, hey another right. thing if y'all want us to come in person to your city y'all see tony's face right <laughs> <laughs> if hey, I've, been, want... I've been holding that information back i ain't i say i ain't gonna say it until it's time to say it but hey Sean in town saying it, so I'm going to let them take the flow real quick <laughs> if y'all want us to come to your city Drop your cities below. 
right? That's right. I, if y'all look at my videos, I respond to every comment. Not one comment go unresponded because I read my comments. I stay, I stay in touch. I, I stay in connection with my people, my community, everybody, right? So if you want us to come to your city, right? Drop your city down below. Where would you like to see us? All right, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and uh, tap in with us. And uh, when we're coming to your city, you will you'll pretty much you know be uh, what, what I should say. You'll be notified, right? Yes. Hit that notification bell also. So thank you all for watching. Till next time, see you in the next video. God, God bless. bless. And as usual, peace.